This is it, man. Chaos control at the fingertips of Kevin Weeks and his smartphone. We have ourselves the news that Morgan Riley will receive a five-game suspension. And the replies. Oh boy, the replies are all over the place. X-Tech, big shout out to X-Tech. What an absolute legend. I am honored to be followed by X-Tech on Twitter, but... Nice meme! Tweet it again with the real suspension. Sends talk said that's the right amount, and you can see the seven replies. People going out there disagreeing with that. Way too low. This is perfect. Five games well worth it. Everybody is joking around about this. Soft League, he did nothing wrong. Should have been more. Whatever, whatever. So, chaos control, right? We're gonna get a lot of people talking about this, and I'll say this probably for the last time throughout this entire saga. Morgan Riley going after Ridley Grigg was not a bad thing. Grigg disrespected the Leafs with the slap shot, and you can't go out there and say that it wasn't disrespectful, but even though it was disrespectful, I still think it was great. That is fueling the rivalry. That's ambitious, you know? It's a pretty bold thing, and it made us all entertained, which at the end of the day, that's what the sport is all about. We need some drama in our lives once in a while, right? It's why we watch TV shows and movies. But Ridley Gregg with the slap shot, disrespectful, but cool. Morgan Riley going after Gregg, appropriate and cool. It's just the way that he did it. You can't go out there and hit a guy in the head with your stick. Now, whether or not Morgan Riley intended to do that, that's up for debate. You could say he was trying to go for the arm, but it slipped up, then he got him in the head instead. But that's the thing. At the end of the day, Morgan Riley got him in the head. And a stick to the head is a suspension no matter which way you slice it. So this right here, five game suspension, while you could very well say it's a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit much considering the magnitude of the crime. This still was a suspendable act that Riley did. And now, I mean, they were talking about this on the Steve Dangle podcast the other day, but isn't this exactly what the Ottawa Senators needed? Not the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Ottawa Senators. Not because the Sens are trying to go out there and say, okay, we're going to make the playoffs and we're going to take the Leafs' spot, etc., etc. No, this is the Ottawa Senators putting their hearts on their sleeves and saying, yeah, we have this rivalry with Toronto. We want to step up and play up to Toronto when we play them because, you know, we're rivals. Toronto doesn't play up to their opponents, they play down. They always seem to do that. They ended up losing the game where Ridley Grigg did the empty net and Morgan Riley, you know, took the cross check. It's why the Leafs had the empty net in the first place. Even P.K. Subban went out there and said earlier this morning, I'm pretty sure, why are you even losing to the Ottawa Senators? Why are you putting yourselves in that position to have an empty net in the first place? This whole thing could have been avoided if you just played up to your talent. If you just played the Ottawa Senators and you beat the Ottawa Senators, you wouldn't have had the empty net. This entire Greg Riley thing wouldn't have happened. But because y'all did play down to your opponents and because y'all lost, this gave Ridley Gregg a perfect opportunity to stick it to the man that is the Toronto scene and go out there and give Leafs fans something to debate about. If he slap shots it into the empty net, the Toronto Maple Leafs will either A, respond, which they did, it put Riley in a spot where now he's going to be suspended for five games, or B, the Leafs don't respond. And guess what? They look even worse than that. Morgan Riley responding because he has been one of the more heart and soul kind of guys on this Maple Leafs team. That's not surprising, especially since he was the last guy back. He was the first guy to get close to Grigg. He ended up hitting him first, etc., etc. That's not surprising. But now, taking a look at this, Ridley Grigg got Morgan Riley to hit him in the head, and Morgan Riley, the Maple Leafs pretty much only puck moving defenseman, is going to be out for five games. What exactly is this going to do to the Toronto Maple Leafs in their decor? What's the Leafs' first pairing now? Brody Liljegren? Is it McCabe and Simone Benoit? There are a lot of guys that are going to need to step up and fill the shoes of a Morgan Riley, which is going to be tough to do because Morgan Riley is one of the best players on this team and the best defenseman. So... Now, the Leafs are crap out of luck. They reacted to Ridley Gregg, they took the bait, they bit the bullet, and now Riley, after doing something that I don't think he's going to regret, like I don't think Morgan Riley himself is thinking about this five-game suspension and being like, yeah, I shouldn't have gone after Gregg. No, 
we talked about this. Ryan Reeves talked about this. Evander Kane talked about this. NHL people talked about this. Sheldon Keefe talked about this. The appropriate thing to do if you're Morgan Riley was to go after Ridley Gregg. You can't be doing the slap shots into the empty net like that going unscathed. But the way in which he did it ended up in a pretty big and hefty suspension, and you could debate the validity as to whether or not five games is really worth it. I mean, you could talk about some of the other suspensions handed out this year, David Perron, you could talk about the lack of suspensions, the Truba thing against the Bruins. Like, there are a lot of instances throughout this season and even last season and even more beyond that where there are inconsistencies with the NHL's Department of Player Safety and the suspension slash fines handed out by George Peros. There has been so much inconsistency and everybody knows it's a problem. So at this point, being able to spin the wheel and be like, okay, yeah, five game suspension. This is something that we kind of were already expecting, mostly because of the fact that the hearing was scheduled to being in person. It ended up going online, I'm pretty sure, because of the travel restraints. But for now, Morgan Riley, I mean, the guy's out for a while. I don't know if anybody is really going to think that this was like totally undeserved. I think it's been a few days since the incident on Saturday that now we can sort of agree. Yeah, you have to go after guys properly. You can't hit guys in the head with your stick. That will be a suspension. Whether or not it's worth a five-game suspension, who really knows? We heard from yesterday's news that the Leafs, the executives, the people on the team were furious that it went to an in-person hearing and the possibility of five-plus games was even put on the table. Elliot Friedman said, I'm pretty sure, that he was surprised it was able to hit the five threshold. I think he was thinking more so in the ballpark of two to four games. Who really knows what the Leafs themselves were thinking about the situation? Who knows what the Ottawa Senators are thinking about the situation? Ridley Gregg has kind of become a hero in the past few days, not just for the slap shot goal, but because of what that goal means and what it was able to do to a Toronto fan base and media world that has been so, I don't know, distinct over the past few years. Ottawa Senators fans are now sticking it to Toronto, and in this way, I mean, there is a battle that's brewing. And now, when you talk about Ridley Gregg's opportunity to get away with it, yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do. The Leafs and Sens don't play each other anymore this season. They have to wait till next year. So there is a lot more fuel for fire when it comes to the Battle of Ontario. And Ridley Gregg, Morgan Riley, they played two very key pivotal parts in making that happen. So... Kevin Weeks with the news here. I'm told that the Maple Leafs Riley is receiving that suspension. We still haven't gotten any official word from the Department of Player Safety or whatever, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows about the protocol here. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Morgan Riley getting a five-game suspension. Do you think it was right? Do you think it was wrong? Do you think it's too much? Do you think it's too little? I hope you enjoyed this Vrishash Rolls 99. And bye.